Family lady shaking her head like, no, no more. Yeah, give us stuff. Contact me with it, Rich Page, and you can donate, you can, um, we can organise for you to donate some stuff to us. We have stuff. This vivarium is very poorly built, as I'll throw up some shots in a minute and um, show you guys. The Instead of the wood being on top of it, it was on the side, so all the weight will be on the screws. Not how you build a vivarium, we've gone over that before. So I'm going to sort that out, I'm going to edit some bits of some editing and cutting to do on it. So let's go and modify it and make it fit and pretty and proper, and um, yeah, let's go. We're cutting it down to 70 centimetres. Look how close that is. Awesome, because there's too much ventilation on this vent anyway, there's far too much ventilation. So it won't, wouldn't hold humidity, so the fact we're cutting off that vent, pretty good. As you guys can see, these uh, these runners went all the way up to the edge because of course the wood was on the wrong side, so I've had to, so I've cut the bit out. So I'm going to put the new bit in, and it's beautifully flush, and um, very satisfying actually. Um, perfectly in there so the wood will be the right way up now we're going to measure out and drill the pilot holes for the screws to go through so they don't split the wood um, not so much they won't split this bit when they go through the next bit they'll split it I like to drill out the pilot holes in this one first and then when it gets lined up I'll drill right into the next bit of wood and, uh, so let's get that done spirit of things so you guys can see the sides have been put where they should be now on the top not instead of in the side so now the wood is holding all the weight not just a couple of screws you see the bits I've cut off there now because I've raised it up two inches or, two, or uh, 20 centimeters I can put a bit of wood in here for 20 centimeters now and that will give me room for substrate as well which is awesome so it's worked out really well um, so we'll be able to get some substrate in there now and the same with the back the back was quite small so we're gonna have to put an extra bit of wood in the back which we'll probably put on top but we will cut out of the off cuts off there so it all matches color and wood and all that stuff so next step so this is where we're at so far we're just about to do the ceiling as you can see I just put a strip of wood in the back, nothing fancy. You can barely even see it's there. I'll just seal that up. I'm going to seal up some of these vents eventually too because there's far too much ventilation in that. But um, as you can see from the inside, it's all done. Built properly now. So let's seal. Temporary form is perfect size for him, so let's pop him in here into his new, it's like 3x3, three three. straighten his water bowl, making an absolute boo-boo So he is in the shed just now, so we're just leaving him alone. But that is that section of the fire pit. This is our little girl Lily. 
I don't know if she's been on the camera for a wee while. And this is a little third on Rose Bloor. And this is what we've made for her. It's all nice and pretty in here. Look at that. So eventually this five foot by three foot is either going to be Lilith's or Mordecai's. Whoever gets bigger. Strong chance it's going to be Mordecai's because it's really tall. So we can put some sort of climbing stuff in it. But the things that were wrong with this vest before were, as I said, the overlap was wrong. So as you can see, we've sorted that out. With the extra, because we've put this wood on top of that wood, and then on top of that, we've had about 30 mil difference, which has worked in our favor, because then I've just put another bit of wood along the bottom there. So that has raised that up and allowed us to put substrate in there. Because before, this runner was hard on that. And you couldn't put substrate, a really stupid idea for a reptile, unless you're planning to keep them on newspaper or kitchen room. But you know me, I like to make my beds more naturalistic and uh, better for the animals to live in. So that's worked in our favour. I haven't put any extra up there, I just left that like that so that we can get all the all the extra um, wood on the bottom so that we can get that in there. Uh, I don't like this style of rubber either, which is quite horrible. Before you couldn't get the glass out and um, it was hard against it, so now we can actually take the glass out properly for cleaning and stuff like that. It's a little bit stiff, but it's the best I can do. Um, on that front, we blocked up some of the holes in the back so that um, there was far too much ventilation in it for such a small bit. You can see I've just cut new circles and siliconed them in um, and blocked them up. It's just simply, there was too much ventilation in that. And you're keeping species that need a bit of humidity. Um, too much ventilation just lets all that humidity out and it pulls. Um, so I blocked up four of the vents, so we've got three on each side. And then um, that'll do, it's been holding temperatures absolutely perfect and all that kind of stuff. So can't fault it for that. So it started off a really poor viv, and now it's an absolute awesome viv that I absolutely love. It's the same depth as the six foot, so it sits, stacks nicely on top of the six foot. It was far too deep. It was like five foot by four foot, something ridiculous like that. It was crazy. So it's now, I cut it all down, shortened it all so it sits perfectly on top of these six foot, stacks up just nicely on top of it, leaves a little bit of ledge there for, I don't know, a little glass viv or all the snake stuff, whatever. So I'm really happy with the outcome of this. So let's put Lilith in and uh, see what she makes of it. She'll probably just go straight into hiding because it's Lilith and she doesn't appreciate much. But how pretty is that snake in there? Checking everything out. Looking good, Lilith. What do you think? So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I hope you guys like that viv as much as I do because I absolutely love it and I'm thrilled to be able to give an old piece of equipment a new breath of life. As you guys know, I love recycling, upcycling and all that stuff. So I am really happy with how that's turned out. There's going to be some more viv stuff coming in the future. I was going to put, I've already done the six foots, I've had some, a makeover, but this video is long enough, and I don't want to bore you guys with too much Viv stuff, so we'll save that for another episode on the future. Like Lilith, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Peace.